Let's take a look at the transmittal feature from the revise issue print command. Just to remind you, after you've created a bunch of title blocks and possibly added a revision, you're then able to use the revise issue print command to create a transmittal and to keep that transmittal updating during the uh, progress of that particular job. You create or update a transmittal by clicking this button here. And if a transmittal doesn't exist already in the document, then this will default to create new transmittal worksheet. If there's an existing one, then it will default to update existing transmittal. If you've got an existing transmittal and you click this button here, the existing one will be overwritten with a new uh, transmittal of the same name. So if you've got an existing transmittal and you want to start a new one, then what you have to do is to rename the old transmittal and uh, then the new transmittal will take on the standard transmittal name. The way that you do that is in the resource browser. Our active file is VAATB demo movie and you can see here that here's the the uh, transmittal worksheet that is already existing in this file. So if I were to hive this off, then what I need to do is to right click on it, choose rename, and give it a slightly different name to that. Call it old or you know development, DA, whatever. And then if you rename it, uh, when you come into the revise issue print command again and say, okay, now it's time to create a new transmittal, the old one will still be there with all of the uh, existing transmittal information in it. Now, the, uh, there are certain preferences here that you can set. The first date cell, the first sheet cell, the number of sheet rows, the project name, and so on. And just recall that these are here and this is where you set them, and I'll show you now what they all mean. As I said before, this drawing already has a transmittal in it, and so if I right-click on this and choose Open, I can open the transmittal. Alternatively, you can open worksheets from the window menu. You see here, there it is there as well. That will open exactly the same thing. Now this is a Vectorworks worksheet. If you haven't seen a worksheet before, it's similar to an Excel worksheet. It has uh, uh, the difference being that it can link to information on the drawing. But this is really just a fairly dumb worksheet that's being populated by the revise issue print command every time you ask it. Sometimes, depending on the zoom level, you'll see that some of these cells appear blank, but you'll see that if I click on that cell, there is actually a value in the cell. And if you want to edit anything that's in the worksheet, then it's just a matter of clicking in the cell you want to edit and editing the, the, uh, the value at the top here. The drawing names, uh, and so on. You'll see that... Um, Sometimes this, these uh, cells have special formatting. For example, in this case, we have equals and the drawing name in single quotes. And that's so that this doesn't uh, get interpreted as a number. Uh, so it always reads out as text and left formats uh, and so on. The same thing applies with the drawing numbers here. So just note that if there is some special formatting up here, then that needs to be preserved. When you do uh, want to add some information, for example, distribution information, it's just a matter of clicking in the cell and typing in the, uh, the information you want and then putting uh, some kind of marker in, uh, in these cells here that's appropriate for the project. You're going to want to change this up here and to change that you simply click there and start to type up here. Same with the address, telephone number, fax, email and so on. The project name is going to be filled out automatically from the project name in your title block as is the address and the project number. So this is 
very similar formatting options to what you'll see uh, in Excel. I mean, if you, if I click in a, a series of cells here and I, I right click and choose format cells, we've got alignment where you can wrap text and merge cells. We've got the font border patterns where you can add solid or patterned fills to cells and the various number formats. So this is a, this is a worksheet. Now the first time that you create a transmittal in a drawing, the, tra the, the worksheet is going to be brought in or imported from the TB resources file. Let's take a look at that file now and if you watch the other movies this is the same file that has the symbol definitions in it for the title blocks. This is the worksheet here and this is the one that you need to customize. If you customize this one and then you create a transmittal then the transmittal will have the customized data in it and all of the other drawings that you create transmittals in will have the customized data in it. So as I said before you'll customize these cells here and so on. The, uh, the project name address. So these are the cells where that uh, that we looked at in that preferences dialog. Um, cell D4 for the project name, D5 for the address, D6 for the number, um, the number of sheets there are. Currently it's set to 30 so if you wanted to reduce the size of this area down here and increase this up here you would have to do some, uh, some rearranging here and then mention that or, or reset the preferences in, uh, in the drawing so that they were uh, recalled. So this is the transmittal. Once you've done editing this, you will save this file. And just to remind you, that file is this one here and by default it is in the Vectorworks 2008 folder on a Windows machine that's in program files, on a Mac it's in applications, libraries, defaults, VAA title blocks and this is the file here. And as I said with the uh, symbol movie, once you customize this you want to move it out of here and you want to put it in your user folder over here. That way your user folder data is going to get backed up. If you need to reinstall Vectorworks you're not going to lose any of that information. So going back to Vectorworks and to the revise issue print command, creating or updating a transmittal is just a matter of clicking the button and if it's an existing one all you need to do is to go create or update now and the latest set of information will be entered into the transmittal and you then all you have to do is to enter in your information down the bottom here as to as, as to who it was distributed to double click and that will open the the worksheet where you can enter that information so that's pretty well it for transmittals uh, if you you have more than 30 drawings then additional transmittals will be created and they'll be named transmittal page 1, transmittal page 2, transmittal page 3 and so on. You can print a transmittal by either printing this sheet layer here and I've got this sheet layer set to A4 or if you open a transmittal it has its own printer setup and print menu so you can actually print it from here as well. If you do it this way and you have multiple worksheets then you'll have to go to the print menu in each one, open each one individually because there will be two, three, four worksheets depending on how many pages there are in the drawing set. If you want to print these out side by side, if we did have another one of these say here and we wanted to print them both together then what you would do is to do a page setup and you would set horizontal pages to two. Click OK and you'll get two pages. Let's just go back in there again and choose to show page breaks and you can now see that we've got two pages in here and I can reposition those 
so that if I go print now this will be page 1 this will be page 2 so that's it for transmittals